What is good? This is Dr. Kimmy Kittles. We hit you again. Today we have our female rod out, our working dog, and we're going to show you some characteristics and qualities of a good working dog. Sit. And we're going to show you some things that you didn't know before, okay? So what makes a good working dog? Very alertive, tentative, and you know, with all training, you want to start with your engagement dog. Engagement. You want your dog to be paying attention to you, looking at you, and ready to, if you move, you want your dog to be looking. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, if you see, the thing. Sit. Stay. So if you see that your dog has like a lot of go and energy, you know, um, can't sit still really, always in the uh, need to play fetch, always jumping, always running around the house. These are good indication if you have a working breed that this dog could be a working dog. And you just have to uh, train the abilities. Fiona, down, lay down. Good girl. So fast commands, fast listening to, means that the dog wants to please you. These are also good indications of a worker dog. If your dog walks around, pees, goes over here, and then listen to you, you know, it could probably be a junkyard dog or watch dog. But these are the qualities, like right here. You know, listen, I don't have to really repeat myself. Fiona, sit. Stay. You know that like moving right away with you you know these are good characteristics for your walking dog i mean your working dog, working not dog. Working dog. <laughs> so um fiona stay all right so i said to stay i gave her the command i don't have to repeat it i don't have to show her again what i'm talking about she wants to please she wants to work you'll see the dog starting like when I do the motion of laying down, when you see her anticipate what I'm about to say next, it's a good indication that the dog is used to the training. It's boring. I want to do something else, yo. This is light. Like, what do you want me to do? Down. Sit. Sit. Stay. These are all indications. She's like, yo, man, this is boring. We did this a hundred times. What the heck is going on? Give me a treat. Give me a praise. Or let's do something more serious because, you know, this is just boring to me. Right there. Sit. Guys, sorry for the horrible camera action here. So, we're doing stay command. She's not anxious to see what's around her. She's not anxious to move. She wants to please me. This is part of the game. She gets a treat. She gets a click. She gets a praise. She gets a click. She gets a treat. She gets a praise. She gets something. She gets some type of payment where she cooperates. And this is the game. She'll rather play fetch. She'll rather play with the flirt pole. She'll rather do some fight work. This is boring 
and she'll start anticipating what you're about to tell her. You know? So, these are the qualities that make a, a work dog. Very energetic, running through your house. After they just played for an hour, running through your house with full energy like nothing happened. Always trying to bite and play with other dogs if you have other dogs in the house. You know, just not knowing when to chill out. Like, where is all this energy coming from? Your dog can be two years old acting like a puppy. This is, you know, high drive dogs. These are uh, good working dogs for you to use in your protection work. You know, they're going to listen to you when you command them, you know. They're going to listen to you. Be on a bit Sit. They're going to listen to you and they're going to work for you. You don't got to keep calling them from all the way down there with the long leash. He ain't coming back. These dogs want to work. They want to do bike work. This is good for the dog. But these exercises right here, you'll find a good working dog. You're like, yo, man, this is boring. I want to do some bite work. I want to play fetch. I want to do something I can let off some of this steam. And like I said, they're going to listen to you on the dot with no e-collar. No e-collar. You know, no e-collar, no long leash. They're going to listen to you regardless. Just because they're good working dogs. And we're going to show you a good quality of a watchdog next. We're going to show you a watchdog. And then finally, after that, we're going to show you a junkyard dog. Because we have all three of them. We have watchdogs. We have working dogs that can do great bite work. They'll run. They'll jump through a window. This is her. You know? She's about a year and three months. And she will jump through a window. You know, if she chases you, she will chase you all the way down. You know? And that's the difference. She wants to work. This is fun. Now, a big heavy dog, I wouldn't use it for You know? But these lean. Uh, but heavy band stoppers, these good working dogs, and she's fully grown. She's fully grown. These good working dogs, this is what you're looking for when you're doing bite work, man. Because they're going to let go to bite when you say so. You can walk them in public. You can take them to the store. They bite on command. You know, these are the good working dogs that you want. Join us next time for our next video. Next video, we're going to show you a watchdog. That's right, a watchdog. This is a working dog. You'll see a watchdog next. Totally different. That's right. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Free. And we'll talk to you guys soon. From Kemet Kennels. Bye.